All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy up back with another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys might have seen in the in-game news, we are going to be getting a revamp or renewal to the Cooler Movie Story event on Global very, very soon. And in today's video, I want to quickly break down for you guys all the major changes to this event so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it drops on global in a couple days. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And I guess we'll start here with the release date. So it says here March 2nd, 2020. Today is uh, February 29th, 2020, leap year by the way. So uh, this event will be available in two days from now, along with most of the other events from the STR Cooler campaign, including the banner for the cooler, which I'm super, super stoked for. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to summon on the banner yourself or are you going to be skipping for other stuff in the future. All right, so uh, yeah, March 2nd, 2020 is the release date and one major change you'll notice immediately is that they did add a increased drop or boost category for this event. It's the Wicked Bloodline category. So if you guys are looking to farm copies of this new free to play cooler or these medals right here then definitely i would recommend to bring a wicked bloodline team because it's just gonna make your life so much easier all right so real quick let's take a look at the wicked bloodline category and the main leader we have in the game right now is the agl metal cooler but we also have these guys as sub leads well i mean this guy's not available on global yet hopefully actually with the new battlefield that most likely is going to come with the cooler campaign, they will finally add the LR Mecha Frieza and King Cold to the Baba Shop. Fingers crossed, I don't really know, but I'm really, really hoping it happens. And the rest of the category is uh, pretty self-explanatory, essentially just uh, Frieza and cooler. And that's it, yeah, just a lot of freezes and coolers. That essentially is the category, but there are a lot of different iterations, uh, especially a Frieza, and uh, try to build the best team you possibly can and bring them on this event and you'll get the best drop rate possible available to you, all right? Now, next thing we're gonna do is uh, take a quick look at the stone count because I know that's very, very important to you guys. And as always with story renewals and revamps, the entire event is reset for every single player. So even if you, you know, have been playing for a long time and already cleared the old version of this event, you can still re-clear all the new levels and get all the stones, all right? So in total, Every single player can expect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stones for clearing the levels. And there's also some missions for an additional 1, 2, 3. So in total, 17 free to play stones from the revamp of this story event. And uh, what else can we take a look at? Oh, of course, there is the new tech cooler, which we'll look at in a second. He's actually a very, very good support unit for the new Terrifying Conquerors category. And uh, as far as these medals go, what they're used for is basically just to Dokken Awaken this SR Int cooler, who is not free to play, but uh, very, very common in summons so he doken awakens from these medals from this event into a final form cooler and then he can be used to raise the super attacks of these three final form coolers in the game uh, conventionally this was a very very painful grind that i you know didn't recommend to anybody i was just like yo if you want to raise the super attack of your cooler just use kai's man because it's not worth your time but now with the increased drop with the Wicked Bloodline category, if you have a good team, then it really shouldn't be that bad to get all these medals. It's still gonna take some time, obviously, cause it's 15 medals of each of these guys and then 20 of the Goku medals, but uh, it's gonna save you quite a bit of time if you have a good team, a good Wicked Bloodlines team, right? So that's what the medals are for. And uh, that's pretty much it, I think, as far as this page goes. Oh, of course, the tech cooler can be used to raise the super attack of the other, you know, just regular coolers in the game. And I think there's only two other base coolers in the game that I can think of, right? Because there's the new STR summonable cooler, which is coming with the campaign. And what else is there? Oh, there, I think there's an AGL cooler from the Baba Shop. That might be it. Anyways, moving on to the tech cooler. 
He does not have a Dokkan Awakening yet, but I do expect him to eventually get one in the future. And uh, even without a Dokkan Awakening, he's actually still pretty decent for a free-to-play unit. Leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors, category key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. His super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemy. So uh, yeah, he's one of those units that is going to be pretty good for the Legendary Goku event just because if you get him to super a lot, then he's going to be really, really tanky near the end of the event. And his passive is Attack and Defense plus 40%, Terrifying Conquerors, category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. So not only is he a very solid support unit, but of course he also benefits from his support passive, so he gives himself key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 70% in total. His links are Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Cold Judgment, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, and Nightmare. And his categories are Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors, and Target Goku. This last one, of course, is not yet available on Global and won't be until the Android 13 Doka Fest comes to Global. And this guy's max stats are 10,766 attack, 9,747 defense, sorry, HP, and 6,106 defense. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you guys to rainbow him, like get him to SA10, open his paths, but he's not really, at this point in time, worth rainbowing, unless you're like a huge cooler fan, then what might have stopped you, but I don't think he's really worth the orbs, he's mainly just there to be a support unit, so use him for that purpose. And I guess that's pretty much it. That is pretty much all there is to talk about in this video. New tech cooler coming, definitely gonna get him done. And uh, aside from that, 17 free to play stones coming with the story event. That is as much as you need to know about the cooler movie story event or I think it's called the Strongest Rivals Story Event Revamp that's coming to Global in a couple days. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, for taking the time to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>